Hello lovely people, welcome back to another interesting tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be the drafting of six pieces skirts. And it's easy and simple to make and it's very simple to understand. So as time goes on, I'll be teaching you different ways of drafting six pieces skirts. But today I'm going to concentrate on one method. So if you like to learn how to draft this six pieces skirt, please keep on watching to the end of the video. So I'd like to thank my returning subscribers for always being on point to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. And also if you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel to be part of this amazing family. And also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell so to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's get right into the video. So, to draft this six pieces skirt, you will be needing your pattern paper. I have my pattern paper here. You will need your long ruler. This is the hip cuff. These are my straight rollers. And you will be needing a scissors for cutting paper. I have my measuring tape. So let's get right into the tutorial. So I have with me the pattern paper here, which is folded in half. And I'm going to be starting with the center front piece, the center front. So the measurements we are using for this skirt is 44 inches for the head, 38 inches for the waist. And we are going to be dividing the waist by six because it's six pieces skirt. So we are dividing the waist by six inches, the hip also by six inches. So let's start with our vertical measurement. So I'm using nine inches from the waist to the hip. But if you want to add band to your skirt, you take out one and a half or it depends on how much height of the band you want to take, either one and a half or two inches. So in this case, I'm not taking any inches out for the band. So from the waist to the hip is nine inches. And I'm going to mark it across. Then I draw a straight line. So from the waist to the knee line is 18 inches. Okay, the knee is 21 inches and I came up by three inches. So it's 18 inches. I'm using 18 inches from the waist to the knee line. Why I came up by three inches, you can come up by three inches or two inches, depend on you. We come up so that it gives room to the skirt when walking, so that you can walk freely in the skirt. So I'm marking 18 inches across. Then I roll the line. So the full length of the skirt I'm drafting is 40 inches. It's 39 plus one inch allowance. So it's 40, but I have 40, 40 and a half here. It's, there's no problem about that. So I folded the center front piece. I folded on nine inches. I need nine inches for the fold, nine inches. It depends on how full you want the flare parts from the knee to the hemline should be. But I'm using, you can use 8 inches on fold, you can fold on 8 inches, you can fold on 10 inches, depending on how full you want your thumb pads to be. So this, in this case, I want the center front piece to be 9 inches on the hem line. That's the fullness of the thumb. So now, let's start with the horizontal measurement. So the waist divided by 6 is 6.3. And 6.3 divided by 2 because I folded the center front in 2. So the waist is 38 inches divided by 6 is 6.3. 6.3 divided by 2 is 3.15. And on the hip line, I divide the hip measurement by 6. The hip is 44 divided by 6 is 7.3. So I'm dividing the 7.3 in half because it's folded into two. And I got 3.65. So on the knee line, I will mark whatever I got on the hip line, which is 3.65. So I'm 
So 3.65 is here on the knitting line. And this 3.65 are minus half an inch to give that shape to the hip. So now with my hip cuff on this waist point, I'm connecting to the hip point. So on this hip line, I'll be coming down by two inches. You can come down by two and a half inches. Let me make it two and a half inches just to get a nice hip cuff for your skirt. So I'm placing my hip cuff like so. And then I mark it straight to the knee line. So now I will mark it with the marker so that the line will be visible for you guys to see. Hope you can see it. So now from this knee line, I'm going to draw the line straight to the hem line. So I'm using my long ruler. And we don't want sharp end here, so I blend it inside the pits. So our front piece is ready. I'm going to be adding half an inch sewing allowance all the way from the waist to the hem line. You can add it on the paper or you can add it when cutting it on fabric. So I'm marking half an inch all the way down. So if you are watching up to now and you never subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting on the subscribe button and also turn on your bell notification to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Share my videos, hit on the like button if you find the tutorial helpful. So I'll connect the points now with my hip cuff. So our center front piece of the six pieces get is ready. So the next thing to do is to cut it out. I'll get my scissors and then cut it out. So guys, our front piece is ready and when I open it, this is how our center piece is looking like. Now you are going to cut five more pieces of this panel, five more pieces, adding to this, making six pieces and you are going to join all of them together. So the next thing to do now is to draft the back panel because the back, the differences between the center back and the center front is the zipper line because the back has zipper and the front doesn't have zip. Now I'm going to draft the center back piece. So this is the center back piece. So as you can see, I mark the zipper line, just one and a half inches for the zipper line. So this is it. So what I'll be doing next is to this center front piece, I'll place it on the zipper line like so to cut the back center piece. So I place it on it. Let me add my fabric weight so that the paper will not be moving around. So I will be cutting the back the center back piece out. So if you want to add the zipper allowance, you take about seven inches or eight inches for the zipper length. So let me mark this point so that I can stand it to the back piece. So this is our center front piece of the six pieces skirt. And this is the center back piece of our six pieces skirt. So what I'm going to do next is to cut two more pieces for the front piece and then two more pieces for the back piece. So let me do just that and come and show you. So guys, this is our six pieces skirt or six pieces final skirt. So these are the sides. You can see the side because my table is not that big. So these are the sides. And this is the center front piece. 
So this is how the front look like. Is it not so beautiful? So now let me show you how the back pieces look like. So guys, this is how the back pieces look like. There's a center back piece where the zip is going to be. And then these are the sides also for the back. So guys, we have come to the end of today's video. If you find my tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a big giant thumbs up and share my videos and also comment, please comment to know how you feel. If you have anything you want me to do, please, you can drop it down the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.